New into stock, one of my favorite cars here. It's a Range Rover 4.4 TD V8 Westminster. It's uh, 2012 on a 62 plate. Two owners from new has done 64,908 miles. I can feel the suspension lowering now as I'm leaning against it. Uh, you will have heard like a, an uneven road noise coming up here. It's not the car, it's actually this road's just been resurfaced and whatever they did it with is very uneven and, and it's, it's made it like waves. So that, that's the noise, it's not the car, it's, it drives perfect on, on normal roads. Fuel economy, again for a 4.4 litre vehicle, um, urban 24.6, Extra urban 34.4 and combined is 30.1. Nought to 60 time of 7.5 seconds. Top speed of 130 miles per hour out of a 308 brake horsepower um, 32 valve engine. I, I've used one of my, one of these myself several times, and to be honest, I, I found it more economical than the, the three liter. It's obviously doing a lot less work, and, and it's it's just effortless. It's a fantastic engine. Um, feels like, especially this road, I'll, I'll have to go easy, otherwise I'll, I'll rip all the, the new tarmac up when I set off. Uh, Xenon headlamps, it has high pressure headlamp wash, front parking sensors, and we've got the, uh, the chrome effect grille here and the, the black Land Rover badge. Multi-spoke alloys, it's got general grabber tyres all round, this uh, side step there, rear privacy glass, it's got power folding door mirrors. The rear wipers hidden under this kind of integrated tailgate spoiler. You've got the reversing camera lens there. It's a split tailgate. There you go. Top half opens up and you can just push that forward for loading your shopping. And then if you need the whole lot down, this back section folds down. That's strong enough to, to sit on. Really, really well built these, these cars. Um, as I say, my, my favourite car, I love driving around in these, you just feel like you're on the road and most of the, the Range Rover drivers act like they're on the road, probably that's why. It's split rear seats, just put this back up, as well as the reversing camera, you've got the reversing sensors in, in the bumper there so it beeps as well, if you, if you hit anything then you shouldn't be driving. Now, I've not had to move my seat back or seat forward in this, so th there's just there's just absolutely bags of room in these, plenty of headroom. The the seats are like armchairs. It's perforated leather, and th and this vehicle has got heated seats, but it's also got uh, cooled seats as well. The two switches there, the, the separate ones. The the, <laughs> the poor person who gets to sit in the middle. He's no heated or cooled seats. He's, he's you know, that's uh, that, that's the worst seat in the car. So the rest of it, it's it's just airbag there, airbag in the, the B pillar, airbag in the C pillar. You've got the rear privacy glass. Um, it's a hardened card system. The the speakers, the sound in it's fantastic. They're just, I I can't fault them. I can't think of any way that. I'd probably be able to improve um, a, a Range Rover, especially the Westminster. They're just absolutely fantastic. This has got the big thick carpet mats in it as well in the back. Um, you, you've got, so you, 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 you're far better off, just, just four of you and it's like executive travel. There's uh, cup holders in, in this rear centre armrest. There's a bit of storage space for your, your phone. It's just, very very nice place to be a passenger I'll just take you for a ride in it two keys for it and it's the the proper old key it feels like you can knock a mugger out with it or or use it as a knuckle duster not like the new Range Rover keys are very slight and not, not quite as well built as these, but it's it's keyless ignition anyway. So there you go. Just as long as you've got the key on you, you start it up. We've got electric height adjustable 
and reach adjustable steering wheel and also we have high pressure headlamp wash now I've just dirted the car after Lance has cleaned it and he'll kill me when I get back knock that off uh, service history right we go here to 30th of 10th, 2013 at 16,273 miles, and that's Range Rover or Land Rover Harwood, Land Rover Croydon. Then we, we go over here, and I'm disappointed to see, I'm pretty sure that it won't have done exactly 36,000 miles, and uh, that smacks of laziness to me. And that's done at Land Rover Sturgis, Leicester, 13th of 11th, 2015, at exactly 36,000 miles. You, you're probably paying £150 an hour for somebody to guess at what your car's done. Uh, here we go. 19th 11, 2016, 45,286 miles at the MOT and Service Greenwoods 24-7 centre. And then, it, I, I mean, I quite like to see this. If you don't, you don't go back to garages that you're not happy with the service with. And this chap's gone back again, 51,816 on the 20th 11, 2017, MOT and service, Greenwoods 24 7 centre. And then again, here we go, um, 30th 11, 2018, 59,048 MOT service, Greenwoods, and so on. And it's again, it, it, what, what are we now? That was. Um, eight months ago at 59,048 miles it's only done uh, 64,911 miles now so it's uh, not in need of a service although we would check it and make sure everything's all right before it goes out there we go we've also got the six uh, CD player in the top half of the glove box and we've got sat nav here we've also got um, a tv let's just go into home menu there i'll try and remember to switch it off audio video tv turn that down so i don't get copyrighted just wait for it to come on yeah i'm that's uh, dave <laughs> with a bit of luck there'll be a top gear on no well, i don't know but that, that that's the tv also if let's just see navigation all right so that that did some doing or took some doing um it's a, a dual screen so from my side here i can only see the sat nav and from your side over there or from here you should be able to see the tv i, I can't see it at all um so that that's a, a good idea and um, you know it's uh it keeps your passenger entertained and watching TV, and uh, it, it, it's 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 a, a great system. I'll just actually knock that TV off. Let's, uh, let's, I can't see it from here, so just pull that back in park. Oh, menu, audio, video, TV. We'll we'll put it on radio. And then I'll put this back on nav, on the navigation. So we've got a nav screen there, but uh, it's also got Bluetooth hands-free. Right, it has the rotary gear selector, which I uh, I quite like. It um, just adjust that. It kind of gives you more space, makes the front of the car feel area than having a gear. Uh, selector stuck up here. We've got heated and cool seats as well. I'll put the cool seats on. That's that's quite nice. It's a, a bit muggy in the UK today, and uh, off we go. That's just all the doors shutting. Now, I, as I say, I just absolutely love these cars. We've got a load of uh, just at the moment where I was parked. Uh, I, I often make a comment with these 4.4 litre engines that if you put your foot down, you just you can just envisage the tarmac like scooping up like butter and 
getting spat out the back. Um, this has just been parked on the, it's quite warm, it's just been parked on the new tarmac there. And uh, we, we've got quite a bit of, quite a lot of chippings in the, the tire tread. So it'll take a, a short while for that those to, to flick out. But the car's beautiful, the air suspension, just floats it's not a particularly nice road here it just floats along and you're as comfortable as it's possible to be really we've got a heated screen this has also got the timed climate so in the winter you can it's got a little heater under the bonnet you can set it to defrost before you come out to your car in the morning and warm it up at night it's, you know it's not, it's not going to be like toasty warm when you get in but it's not going to be freezing either here we go we'll just give it some gas here and get past this lorry listen that uh, oh come on get out of the way you're spoiling my demonstration now he speeds up. That is it's just awesome. Nice big diesel engine. Hardly working with we're now doing 1500 revs at just short of 70 miles an hour. Really, really quiet, nice and smooth. No uh, no knocks from anywhere or vibrations through the steering wheel all good oh, actually we've uh, what I forgot there we go we've got power folding door mirrors as well electric memory seats the controls are down the, the side here even the headrest will move up and down electronically if I can just find it when we get going Good job, I didn't want that lane. Right, hang on a second, let me just see if I can find this. Here we go. So that should be moving up and down. The headrest, the back, and then you've, you have got three positions. Three positions here. There you go. That's the, the the first one, and you'll see the mirrors changing, and uh, also the steering wheel. It's a it's a really really good system. So three positions. I'll just move my back. I should have set the set my position before. corner and end up cutting in front of these people so we'll, we'll just drop in here watch what that van does because usually they go around cut in front of everybody and then all this traffic here slams on so somebody can turn late up the M6 and just keep a bit of distance now we're green light So big front centre armrest, bringing this to all two and a half tons, um, you, you do tend to get carried away and forget. And then you've got the individually adjustable armrests here. You've got your terrain response here, your cup holders, so the gear selector there, heated and cooled seats, heated front screen. also got 
tilt and slide electric sunroof there. Actually also So we're at 70 there. Set the cruise. Just need to take it up a notch to 70. 70 miles an hour. There we go. 1500 revs, just less than 1500 revs. Cars, little over tick over. Two and a half tons. Yeah, well, that looks like it's going to fall off. Five people in comfort and all your luggage too. Plenty of space. Down here, you've got another great little addition. Heated steering wheel. The paddle shift here. Minus on the left. Plus on the right. Slot in front here. Absolutely beautiful car. Alloy wheels. Got the side steps as well. Folding back seats. You've also got sport here. Just press the selector down and click over to sport. Gives you extra revs in each gear. <laughs> the steering wheel, I forgot to switch it on. The steering wheel's getting nice and toasty as well there. But the, the cooled the cooled seats in uh, I've, I've said before, leather always looks nicer to me the interior looks a lot nicer but I'd rather use a car that's got cloth seats in the in the summer especially the leather seats are either too cold in the winter or too hot in the summer this has got the best of both worlds it's perforated leather and it just sends a nice breeze through the seats through the perforation so the car's got everything you could possibly want on the uh, display there left hand side you've got rev counter in the rev counter coolant temperature not what's going on there coolant temperature the right hand side speedo fuel gauge in there and then right in the center you've got an information display and uh, you can change a lot of settings. We're just coming up to a good part of the road. Here we go. Little bit of body roll, but uh, nothing, uh, nothing too bad. Nothing like the old Range Rovers used to be. Bluetooth hands free. Your light controls, the light switch just on the right hand side there, and the, the fog lamps. I mean, this just at 50 miles an hour, you don't feel like you're moving at all. Oh, wow, how lovely! How absolutely. Hopefully I'll just go past here slow. Proper cars. Proper cars. Got a good mind to turn around and follow them.
here we go just give this a bit of speed so we can load the front wheels the steering arms and the suspension listen for knocks or cracks there you can, just lovely bags of room nice lighting area especially with the sunroof that, that does make a, a lot of difference there we go Fifty miles an hour, just uh, there you go. Changing down using the paddle shift, and then just come out this corner and power on. As I say, two two and a half tons, and you can throw it round like a, a little sports car. So I'll finish the test drive there anyway and uh, I'll just show you how to set the sat nav and uh, pair your mobile phone but, uh, hopefully it shouldn't take too long we've got two of these Westminsters in at the moment a 2000 template which is oh, that's a beautiful car too um, this is just a couple of years younger and uh, Hopefully, we uh, will sell both of them. <laughs> 